Bowman here from BW1.com on behalf of Chris Perlow at YouTube.com slash Larkinum. Give you another cool free tool here, ISO Recorder. ISO Recorder, I like a lot because it's a very simple, smooth, and seamless ISO recording program that integrates very well with your Windows experience and it works with Windows XP, Windows Vista, and Windows 7, and in 32 and 64 bit. Pretty cool. Um, let me show you kind of how it works here. I'm going to be using Windows 7 to show you how it works. Windows 7 does have ISO on burning capabilities. You can burn an ISO to a physical media, but this actually gives you a couple extra features, a couple, a little bit more functionality. So I'm going to show you how that works. Um, if you have ISO Recorder installed, it's going to be the default for all your ISO files. So if it is set as your default, you can double click on it, any ISO, and it's going to open up the record function. But what I like about this is that if you, if you don't use it as a default, all your um, controls are basically in right click functionality so if you just want to right click over an ISO file and you hit copy image to CD slash DVD brings up that same record options in the record menu here and um, you can choose uh, where you want to what the source is if you want to do CD to CD copy you can do that by just clicking on CD and you can copy from one CD to another CD ROM without even having to use an ISO um, down here in the recording section you can choose to eject after burning you can choose which rec which recorder you want to use to actually burn the file that you want and you can choose the recording speed from 16x down to 6x step it out obviously depends on the speed of your burner and the speed of the uh, CD or DVD that you're using click next and it pretty much will burn right from there but um, let's say you want to do more than burning just from a, a, an ISO to a physical disk but let's say you want to create an ISO from a physical disk. That's pretty simple to do with ISO recorder. We'll go to start, go to computer, and you see we have a, a, a DVD sitting right here of uh, Windows. Let's say we want to create that into an ISO to put onto our uh, our machine here. We'll just right click on it and we'll click on create image from CD slash DVD. Brings up the recording menu and you can uh, basically choose where you want to save it. We'll save it to the desktop. We'll leave it like that for now. You click next and the recording will begin and you'll get an ISO file from that physical media that you have. Alright, but let's say we, we have a bunch of random files that we want to put together like right here and we want to create it into an ISO file. So um, I have a bunch of random files in this folder here and um, all you need to do to create an ISO file out of it is you right click on it and you click on create ISO image file and it'll bring up the um, options for you here where you want to create the image from you know which directory where the target where you want the actual files to save you know an image format from blu-ray down to cd dvd dvd do layer click on cd you can change the name of the volume we'll do our uh, random files and you can include a boot image if you want to as well so it's a bootable cd you click next and it'll begin recording the iso file obviously it won't go that quickly it's just just a, a, a small couple kilobyte files and then you have an ISO file right there you, know, you can mount it or you can um, click it to record to a physical media again so that's ISO recorder right there there's not a lot to it but it's very simple very seamless and very easy to use I like it a whole lot simply because it's it, it's above basic but it's um, it, but it's just right there for those that work with ISO files just enough but don't want the sort of the extra extra tools that you get out of things like power ISO and ultra ISO and stuff like that this is a free tool the link should be in the description where you can grab it definitely definitely um, if, if you work with ISO files and you're using Windows and you don't want that extra clutter ISO record is definitely one to take a look at so remember to subscribe to Lockernome's YouTube channel here at youtube.com slash Lockernome and also check out his community of geeks talking tech at geeks.perillo.com and also check out live.perillo.com where his live 24 hour video feed and chat is. So for Chris Perillo at youtube.com slash Lockernome, this is Bowman from youtube.com slash bw1.com reminding you to live your tech world in high definition.